So this is the Specialized Crossroads 2.0. There's sunlight on a plastic deck transmitting through the wheel creating the shadow. Take a closer look. We can see the spokes of the wheel, the wheel, the front fork, and the disc brake. Here's a different look at the disc brake and the other side of the axle, like that. Again, we can see even the magnet swinging around. That works with the sensor for the dash. I'm going to go ahead and hold the phone here at different angles while I'm riding. I'm doing this one-handed, no gyro, no stabilizer, no extension, nothing like that. I'm literally just taking a video analytic look at the front axle, the disc brake, the caliper, the spokes of the wheel, the rim of the wheel, and the tire itself. We're rolling on asphalt, or blacktop, it's a mixture of rock and tar. This is behind the Rowley Storage Complex near Tibbetts Creek in Issaquah. That's what it looks like if we're on the trail. They have frogs riding bicycles painted on the street. That's a sewer lid. I'm going to swing around there. There's my walking behind me. We're actually heading to Mud Bay. But I swing around again. She's drinking water. That's important to stay hydrated. It's 83 degrees today, thankfully. I love going for a nice stroll on a bicycle on a warm, sunny day. This is the first really warm, sunny day in a long time. The bicycle has exceptionally smooth uh, rolling efficiency. The bearings and the wheels and the axles allow it to glide for an extended period with minimum rolling resistance. Similarly, the tires are inflated to 40 PSI. Uh, they have an operating range between 35 and 60 PSI, or 2.5 to 4.5 bar if you're in Europe or the rest of the world. Um, it's a two gears up front, uh, 46 and 30 tooth, and then a seven speed cassette in the rear. It's a Shimano Altus and Turney system. We finally made it to Mud Bay. This is where make it's the healthy food for our cat, or kitty. I'm zooming out here because I noticed my reflection in their window. They have a cool open sign shaped like a dog bone. If we pan out here in the parking lot, we can see QFC and hundreds of cars. It's quite busy Saturday afternoon. I noticed these live catnip plants in the window. They're only $7.50. Meg says, go inside. There's a dog. A miniature Aussie Shepherd. We're entering Mud Bay. They have an interesting flooring. Looks like textured concrete. We make our way over here, and I find the ladies with the dog. They were really polite. Hi, what's his name? His name's Theo, but he's deaf, so he can't hear you. Oh, hi, Theo. He's a toy Aussie Shepherd. Look at those big, pretty blue eyes there. I love dogs. Incidentally, dog, my dog died recently. Well. We zoom out for a look at the Specialized 2.0 bicycle that I rode. This front reflector unit has some really interesting gemstone-like optical properties that diffract incoming light into these hexagonal rainbow square rainbow reflections and uh, is this known as a retroflector it doesn't produce light, it, light itself it uh, reflects light from the environment from headlights on cars for example this is a close look at the KMZ Z7 chain through the rear derailleur set up the Shimanto Altus, or um, that's the seven speed cassette there, Shimano, we take a look along the length of the chain and change the focus, it's playing around with the iPhone's camera here, this is an iPhone 14, it's a nicely tuned system, perfectly balanced, tensions Nicely done. Thanks to Gurks and Issaquah, they did a great job. Chain drives like this are very efficient. That's how they move, just like that. That's the front brake, and it articulates like this. And if we take a really close look in there, 
Take a look at the surface of the front brake rotor. Man, are these an interesting geometry. Someone spent some time on the uh, computer-aided engineering on that cutout. Looks like it's laser cut too based on the clean edges, although it could have been done with high-pressure water jet or any other kind of electro cutter. Who knows? I don't know. There's the front brake caliper. If we, we're going to zoom in here so you can see if I articulate the brake, it actually squeezes the rotor kind of like, let's get the camera in here like this. See, see the gap? Not touching the rotor. But if we give a squeeze, it squeezes. And by squeezing, it creates friction. And that friction is what slows the front tire down. That's off the left lever on the handlebars. So as you squeeze it, it squeezes that brake rotor. These are common on motorcycles and scooters, but bicycles didn't get them until later in history. Original feed brakes would squeeze the rim with brake pads. This is more like motorcycle tech. Although this is mechanical, not hydraulic, so it requires more hand strength to articulate. See the front uh, hub, crank, kickstand, chain, the teeth on the sprockets, and the chain guard. That keeps oily gunk off your jeans or pants, as it were. I was trying to change the focus here to see if I could zoom down the chain. And certainly with a tripod and a little practice, this may have worked better. It's a kind of a video analytical mode. Take a look at everything, make sure it's all lined up.